And hello everyone, and it is I, your favorite tyrannical ruler, Lord Freeze, and I'm back with another exciting episode of me playing Detroit Becomes Human. Now, I believe this is part eight, I believe. I believe that's what part this is. We left off last time with some crazy-ish going down. People said that I left my situation with Hank a little bit rocky. Well, we're going to try to get that smoothly rolling again. And, you know, as always, we already went and thrown down with Marcus, had the revolution rise up and go kick some ass for the android calls. But, all right, you know what? You know who we didn't get to talk to? Oh, God, I can't, remember, I can't even remember the chick's name. The, 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 the chick that's in this game. Damn, those are balls it's insane all right no i'm just kidding we obviously all know who she is let's do this shit wait are you sure you should continue maybe maybe we should leave things as they are um hold on a second are you asking me if i'm sure that i should continue what do you not want me to find out chick hmm, that elijah created Hmm? Mm hmm? What are you? What are you trying to hide from me right now? Yes, I want to continue. Why else would I start the gameplay? As you wish. Yeah, damn right as I wish. Damn, you're looking good, girl. All right, back with Kara. Alice is trusted. Like we don't already know that. Like I know they're gonna tell us that, you know, in case we forget with characters and stuff. But come on now. All right. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Oh snap! Everybody. Oh shit! That's what happened yesterday? They've been conducting raids. Hey, hey, don't interrupt me. Hello? Yeah, we're almost there. You keep interrupting me. I'm trying to see if I have to press L1 over here or L1 over there. Really nothing. Hmm. Maybe I should look down at one of these. Yes, yeah, see right there. Use play the media. Let's see. All right. We're getting, we're getting our vibe on. Hey, Apple Watch, you're interrupting me. All right, so Dustin Stout is live. Shout out to Dustin Stout. You just interrupted my Let's Play, man. Now you're cool, dude. You're cool. I couldn't put that on. Quiet. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to touch next. Obviously, I can use that. I guess I'll have to use that again. Let me do one more pass here real quick. All right. We can, look how far we can turn. I mean, that's not her turn, turning her head, but she could probably keep an eye on that much stuff as an android. All right, next channel, I guess. What are we supposed to just keep looking for things? With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Okay. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? All right. Well, it looks like we managed to do what we needed to do. Do we look somewhere else now? Oh, nope, cutscene. All right, here we go. Well, you know, <laughs> this is basically a movie and you press a button here and there, guys. But it's a good movie, at least. I'm liking it so far. All right, she's getting us across the border with Alice here. Help her. Up. <laughs> Come on, I feel like the cutscene could have did this. All right, now they should let us control. What well, did they really need us to do the up on the right stick there? Was that really changing a the game? On that way. There's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. All right, so we're going to her brother's then. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Alice Alice throws down. I agree. I agree. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. All right, so then she's out. We have a bus to catch. All right, so... Hold on, man. The way the way the way they made things go down over here, I feel like I know we got to go catch a bus, but I feel like there was a there was a dumpster can that I needed to check out. Damn. All right, whatever. That's fine. Let's go. Come on now. now you know, it's been a little while since I've recorded last. It's been probably about a week or two. Probably no, definitely more than a week. Probably about two weeks since I've played. I know. I know. People are like, hold on a second. Does it want me to go locate Jericho? All right. What am I supposed? To I think there is something over here I'm supposed to do. Maybe I got to go back. No. I was going the right way. Damn it, Detroit! You make everything look so smooth and easy and you just get sucked into it. You you don't realize you're moving and 
You can't go back this way. You can go this. I don't know. I'm rambling. You get the point. It's a really pretty game. Don't judge me. All right. What? I feel like we haven't spent any time with Kara, but Connor is so fucking awesome. You see Connor and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm excited. I get to be Connor. Let's do this. So Connor's doing all the stuff that Marcus did. He's basically scanning, finding the symbols. Look how fast Connor figured that shit out. Connor don't play. Oh no, we're back with, oh, and we're back with Kara. All right. Is it me or is everything kind of just going full circle right now? Like everybody's stories are slowly starting to creep together, which is expected. We are towards the end of the game. And nothing. Gotta find a Jericho. We're on our way, Jericho. I'm about to find Jericho. I'm gonna sing this song, yeah, all night long, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people say they like when I sing, so I give you a little something here and there, you know what I'm saying? Hit you with an oh. All right, there's a bunch of androids there. This is definitely going to Jericho. All right, let's walk around here. We're diggity diggity doing it. Checking it out. All right, there's something up there. We gotta go over that way. Things are monsters. Well, damn. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own and Oh shit, so the shit that was happening General with all the United countries, Douglas they were worried about a world war happening. The They're all fighting androids as well. See, this shit is starting to get rather deep. All right, let's go ahead. What were we supposed to, we, there was something we were supposed to do. Find a warm place for Alice, or right over there. Right over there, we gotta go this way. That thing is lit up for a reason. We must have to check, oh look, there's fire, see? Yep, 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 it's all making sense. We found a spot for Alice. We're gonna go ahead and sit right here. There you go. Get out. Get get comfy, Alice. You can sit back. Get warm there. We'll keep you safe. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Oh, she might not be feeling well. I know they said she was a little sick back at what's a faces place, but maybe she's catching a maybe she's catching like a bug and she needs some medicine. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours, and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? All right, well, it's the best it can be, I guess, for the situation. Ah, isn't that the chick that spoke to Marcus? Or at least similar to her. I remember that android was like literally just a face. That's all I remember, it was crazy. I definitely plan to play through this game again, though, at some point, because the Lord Freezer here is you can have multiple outcomes, which is very, very interesting for those who didn't know, but I assume that if you're watching episode 8, you obviously know about that, and if you didn't, now you know, and now you know, and knowledge is power. Hold on a second. I, I just seamlessly started to become Connor and didn't pay attention to shit. My man Connor's on screen, I need to get high. Detroit and Chaos, all androids to be destroyed as a precaution. 0.4% of the world population holds 94% of global's wealth. Well, damn, that is a lot of money for a, such a small percentage of people. You know what I'm saying? I, and I could feel, I, I could see how some people would feel misrepresented in like the, 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 the I guess the, the scope of things. Right, I can't go in, but it looks like an android that has been damaged or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we go in there? Oh, no. Nope. We cannot. All right. Well, let's go ahead and check around here. So we got to find the deviant leader. Oh, hold on a second here. All right, this is nuts because motherfucking he's in this bitch, and I think Kara's in this bitch too. So we're actually already in the same spot here. All right, we can read that 
L1 up there. I didn't I didn't I didn't want to pick this up. I did I bumped my stick. Excuse me. Fine, let's check the page out. Let's turn it. Android terror in Detroit. Thousands of androids attack civilians. Okay, they're pretty much talking about what's his face's situation, Marcus's situation when the androids threw down. It was up there. All right. Don't catch anyone's attention. Boom. That's nuts. So she's right there, guys. Connor and Kara are within like six feet of each other right now. That's nuts. All this time in this game, and boom, we started to make it. We're making it. We're, we're, we're going. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're going You're up. Lost. Yes, I am lost. You're looking for something. Yes, I'm looking for Jericho. And I found it. You're looking for yourself. Uh oh. Uh oh. Could Connor be creeping towards a deviant? Alright. We gotta find Marcus. Where is Marcus here? We must have to talk to somebody up here. There's gotta be a. There's gotta be something here. I guess we've just got to explore and walk around. Oh shit, check this out. This is pretty cool. Oh, hold on, there he is. Marcus, what's up, bro? Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Well, you said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Let's see here. We'll go with no difference. I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Alright, so I guess we go back down to Alice then. American forces and the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, Alright, we're going back towards up. Oh. We made it already. Nice. Alice. What the? Uh, what? No. They told you us. You wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. Uh, what? Hang on a second. In the end, what difference does it make? Plot twist. I never noticed this. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Okay. I, Lord Freezer never seen this one coming. And they even showed it at the beginning of the game. Like, the perfect chart. It's just a little detail that I never, I never noticed. That's insane. I don't even think she knows. Does she even know? Does Alice even know that she's an... Maybe she believes she's human. I, I don't know. They, they said she became what you needed her to be. You needed each other. And I'm over here like, well... She played a really damn good role because, honestly, Kara couldn't even tell that she wasn't an android. I mean, that that's that's pretty damn solid right there. We can't just stand by and let them slaughter us. That's great. Well, we're not going to do that. All right, buddy. But I also need to find where Kara... 
where Alice is. Lord Frieza's like literally just, I'm so turned around right now by that, by that news they just gave us and it's just, it's just big. It's nuts. Did not see that one coming at all. Literally did not see that coming at all. But it's whatever though. We're going to go and move back up here, talk to Alice the Android. Now, hashtag Alice the Android in the comments, please and thank you. Oh, shit. Alice is looking at her like, what does she know? And hold on a second. If she's hot, feeling hot and cold like she's sick, how does that make any sense? She's an android, right? Kara, is there something wrong? Uh, yeah, did you know you were an android too? I'll give you a hug there, no worries. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. Alice is now family. Hey, well, hey, we progressed that. We progressed one story to a great spot. So, you know, it was I, I didn't completely mess the game up because I know I've made some good choices. I've made some bad choices too, though. But this is pretty feelsy stuff. Lord Freeza, my KOK okay, cry. Or he's so cute. He's just so cute. I can't even just... Oh, oh. All right, Jericho leader. So now I'm guessing we're taking over Marcus. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Then nothing would have changed either, though. Let's see here. Determined. Righteous. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Oh, shit. He's dropping bars on Marcus. I mean, those were bars. Hold on a second. Let, 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 let's, be, uh, let's be a little no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue. Dialogue is the only way. Fuck! No! Bad! Shit! I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. I forgot- Don't do this, Marcus. I forgot North gets off on kicking human you. ass. Maybe. I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words and they'll listen. This shit is getting intense right now. Also, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, shit. Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Really? I convinced him not to do it. Oh. To give me the detonator. Oh. Oh shit. A dirty bomb. A dirty bomb indeed, Marcus. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I'm saying, I'm, I'm feeling North. I'm feeling it. Let's keep it. I just hope we never have to use it. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever happens tomorrow. Oh. I just want you to know that. I... We unlocked it, guys. Oh. I'm glad I met you.
Go ahead, Marcus. Drop that game, bro. Drop that game. Do that weird thing you androids do when your hands turn. There you go. These are balls. Let's drop balls on North. Hey, North. Please accept these balls from Marcus. Game balls. Oh, this motherfucker dropped that. It's a dirty bomb. I'll go join the others. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Everybody thought I was gonna drop this game. Hold up. Look after yourself. I'll do just that, baby girl. I don't wanna lose you. Oh, I don't wanna lose that booty either. Listen, we're gonna keep Marcus alive and well. But if anything happens, you come swing by my place. I'll give you the tail. That rhymed. Un unconsequential. Wasn't planned. Balls. Anyways, back to the gameplay. So how's Connor gonna just... I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen between those two. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I ain't expected to pop off this quick. What? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Oh shit, no, this is definitely not, this is go, they're throwing down. Hands are gonna be thrown right now. Holy shit. It's about to go I've down. I've to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Ooh, he would defy him. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. Let's see what happens. Who out intimidates who? Don't force who? me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Oh, he knows all about him, well, then. Congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Oh, shit. Let's see here. Warning shot. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational. As if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable oh, of reason. shit. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. I want to keep it's time the... to decide. Oh, hold on. Freezy Pop wasn't ready for this. I gotta remain a machine. I've got another thing. Fuck. Nice try. Oh. But I'm no deviant. Oh shit. Here we go. Th okay, we're throwing hands. All right. All right. What's gonna happen here? Um. Shit. Um. Don't, don't, don't. That's a cock tease, really. Connor, for f sake, Hank is right. Show some kind of emotion. Okay, I'll do it for you. Hello there. Uh, Quick, we've got to get out of here. What the hell is happening? This shit's under attack. Go, go, go. This shit is under attack. Okay, this is like the army is just rolling in on Jericho. Like, we're taking this bitch. Right, well, uh, not good. They're literally just killing people right now. And straight up, she does not want that to happen to, to Alice. Run, Kara, go this way. Jesus, oh. Come on, we're running. Why is everybody running on this weird loop type thing? Go this way. Follow them. Six meters of there. Oh, okay. Whoa, did he just get shot? No, all right. He, he just fall over from opening the door. Oh, uh, that guy just got shot. So I'm guessing we're going right. Yeah, we're definitely going right. Other way. 
that's Mark. He's coming in now. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. Ah, helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. All right. What about Simon and Josh? Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. All right, well, Marcus has got to go and do some stuff and some things. Can I run faster? They're not letting me run any faster than this. Man, actually just hit that. <laughs> Let me walk down these steps real quick here. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Oh, Marcus knows it's the end of Jericho. He's going to blow it up so that they can get away, girl. This is not the end of this. Connor's going to pop out of nowhere and him and Marcus are going to start throwing hands again. We have not seen the end of that fight. That was just the tease of it. Whoa, okay, and down we go. Oh, yep, not good for Marcus. Oh, the leader's right there. Don't let it get out. Oh, shit, he just got you. He's right there. Very fortunate for him, then. Damn, this shit is... I'm on the edge of my seat right now on my ship just thinking, uh, what's going on here and how how is this going to play out? Neutralize the deviant leader, Connor. Connor's been waiting to neutralize this mofo. Oh, run, run, go, 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 go. We're gonna hide, I guess, huh? She'll die out there, Kara. Open it. Open the door. Nope. If we open up. Nope. No, Kara. Well, you know what, tough. It's either that or we could possibly die. And we're opening the door. Real nice. Real nice. Yeah, fine. We'll open the door. Hope if we go, Alice, this is your fault. Look, she's not even there anymore. Oh, yep, yeah, she died. There was nothing we could do. Exactly. You got to learn to live with these things, Alice. It's to it's for everyone for themselves right now, and I got to keep you safe with Cora. You Don't shoot. you got to just deal I'm with on it. On your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD, I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. See, look at that. Connor can behave like a deviant and not be a deviant. It did it again. This game does that so much you think it's a cutscene and you don't do nothing. Every single episode I do it. Every single episode I do it. I, without, without fucking hesitation, it happens. Look at this, Marcus just happens to have the perfect path here. Intervene, we'll save him. Kick their fucking asses. Oh shit, I got punched in the face. Got him, got him. Sorry, it's been a little while. I wasn't expecting the button pushing to come so quickly, but then it just came, and I'm like, well, here we go. Go now. Hurry. Yeah, we ain't got time for that shit, man. Get out of there. I just saved your asses. Ooh. He sees me. Ah, uh, let's see here. So, right there. Bam, bitch. Oh. Right in the face. So what, we kicked the other guy's shield and he's just out the game? I find that a little hard to believe. I mean, I know Mark has just jumped onto the ceiling, but damn. Don't move. We surround 
you know we gotta save everybody. You know we have to, right? Can we? I don't think we can. Oh, no, hold on a second here. We can climb up. Rip off, I mean. Yeah, okay, all right. This is gonna land on them, I guess. Push the damn buttons! Do it, Marcus! Bam. Knock the scout, fam squad. See you later now. You're welcome. Yes. Marcus is the hero here. Marcus is the hero. This, this is so like action hero stuff, you know. On the way out, he manages to save like 15 people and kicks all the guards' asses. Marcus is the new action hero in Detroit. I gotta go this way. I went the wrong damn way. All right, Freezy Pop. Let's get through here and get down the hallway. Oh. Oh, there's one of our buddies. We gotta help him. Bam, bitch. I'm gonna knock you the scout. Oh, he punched me in the face. Oh, yeah, boom. Well, kick to the dick. Legit. He kicked this man in Quick, the dick. This way. Find north. I'll join you later. All right, so Josh has been saved. We're safe, Alice. Are you safe, though? I mean, shit could go down at any moment right now. And it is going down. Let's play dead. Play dead, play dead. There you go. Will not move. She told her not to move. Don't move. You're an android. You should be able to do this perfectly. Oh, did Kara wiggle? Come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. They scared Freezy Pop for a moment there. Don't move just yet. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to wait a second. I will right, we'll go and get up now. I feel like something bad is going to happen before this game ends. There's got to be one big thing they're going to do, Steel. I'm, like, expecting the worst right now. I feel like if I would have moved, then Kara might have got shot. Oh, shit. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. Here we go. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Damn right. <laughs> All right, so I'm playing as both of them, I guess. Oh! I didn't want this. You'll meet again, Marcus. This is an what the hell? Um. I, I. That was a little lackluster for me. I expected a lot more. So you're telling me we hype Connor up this whole game and this man just runs, grabs the gun, and shoots him? Like, I know that. I know that, I mean, maybe he downloaded his software into another Android. He's on multiple, I mean, he's in multiple Androids or something. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, shit. North got shot. Here we go. Is this that big thing that I was thinking could happen? It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. No, nah, we got to save North. That's his woman, bro. That's his woman, bro. It's going down. Saving my lady, man. It's not gonna happen like that. No, you don't, bro. Marcus, don't play that shit, son. Get your face, bitch. KOK die. Over there. Run. Alright, just gotta mash some more buttons because it's a Detroit. Oh, we gotta keep mashing. We can never stop. Run quick. Come on. Damn. I mean, they know how to do an epic shot in this game. Marcus just looking like a straight badass on the way down with that pencil dive, too. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. 
I can't believe that's not even the end of the motherfucking game. Like, th there's still more things for us to do right now. This is insane. This is insane. Roughly 30 some minutes of us just doing that right there. I mean, they literally cut all the stories into one meshed up spot in like 15 minutes. Like, they all reconciled into one big thing. I mean, yes, the whole episode, they were there, but they were actually interacting with one another. Well, Kara really didn't get to interact with anybody that much. So, still interesting. But it see, it's crazy to see that that... So, is that is that it for Connor? Is that the end of Connor? I guess we'll find out. I mean, shit, man. That's... Wow. Lord Freezer didn't see that outcome coming. I certainly did not. I, I'm wondering if any of you... Did, let me know in the comments if you guys seen that coming, because... That shit was Paper McCray Cray. I'm sure some of you have already seen through the gameplay. I'm not trying to rhyme. I do it every day. Hey, listen, stop, pause. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to the next part of the gameplay now. All right, November 10th, 2038. There's our man Marcus right there. Made it out, saved his lady. Had to blow up Jericho, but it will go on. Now he's visiting Carl's. It's 2038. Hey everybody, Dashi's mixtape has been out for a year now. And this is the year that mine comes out. Remember, I, Dashi said his was 2037. Remember, I said mine's going to be 2038. So this is the year that my mixtape dropped. I was heavily inspired by Dashi's in 2037. Shout out to my boy Dashi. Still see me in Mario Kart sometime, fam. Uh, let's see here. Let's be heartful. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but... Everything I touch just turns to dust. Mm, let's be a little conflicted. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color but I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. What should I do, Carl? Tell me, what should I do? Yes, Carl, tell us. What should we do? Oh. Hello there. You look like you've seen some stuff and some fangs. He really looked at Marcus like, did this motherfucker not say hello to me after he stopped and looked at me? Like he's genuinely offended right now. He's like, who the fuck is this guy? That or he knows that it's Marcus, the leader of the rebellion, and was like, oh shit, <clears throat> I ain't messing with that dude. He'll kick my ass. Wait, what? Can we pause for a second? What? The previous Connor failed its mission. Oh shit. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. Um. All right. Well, you know what? You gotta, you gotta let me know some things. So, is he the Connor? Is he the? Does he have the previous Connor's memories and beliefs? Is that how this works? Because I mean, you can't just give me. You can't kill one Connor and then give me another and expect me to be like, all right, that's. That's my corner, because it's not. It's a different corner. Now, if, it's, if, they're, if they're like the people from freaking Battlestar Galactica, the Cylons or whatever. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I know that shit. You know, this shit transfers over. Also, in the comments, did anybody watch the 2004 Battlestar Galactica show? That, that show was good. Damn, that show was balls. All right, I'll stop. Let's get back to the story here. All right, well, I guess this is kind of good. This is going to be like our new Jericho, I guess. This is like the new stronghold, I guess. Do we just walk over here? Talk to some people? What do I got to do here, man? This way. There we go. Let's talk to Kara again. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. 
We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Damn. Marcus, I've never seen Marcus look more intense in that stare he gave just now. Did you see that man's face? That is not a face I'd want to get in front of to try to stop him. Did you see? No, hell no. Lord Freeze will be like, listen, man, listen. I don't even care. I used to be part android. Go for it, man. Do your thing. Do I go this way? No, I do not go this way. There you go again. Detroit just making you start walking and talking, not realizing what's going on. Let's go talk to our boys right here. People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. All right, so Simon's down to ride for the call, Steel. Can I talk to that dude too? No? Alright, I'm out like sauerkraut. See you later. Okay, okay, bye. Right, what's next over there? There we go. And let's go and talk to North. Should check in on her anyways after make sure her injuries aren't bad and she's all good. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. We already knew that. Extermination. We already knew that. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. I think he knows you have that. have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Oh, damn! Okay, I see you out there, Marcus. Go ahead and drop that game, bro. Alright, so this time I didn't let it suck me in like that. Well, you're sitting there like, all right, I guess I can start moving around now, and you're waiting for it to go back to the game, and it never happens. I was prepared this time, Detroit. It only took almost the entire game for me to beat you to what? Damn, that android's head is clean off. Wow. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Well, then you're welcome. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You're welcome. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Inform your people of your choice. All right, then. Let's do it. I guess we're probably going, what, center of the room? Yeah, we're going that way. Making sure. 
I guess so. Is it gonna cut anything? No? Uh, excuse me. I would like to inform our people of our choice. Where do we go? People of our choice? I can't talk. Over here, maybe? I don't know. Yes. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. It's true, they are. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Revolution, bro. Why would he stop now? Why would he stop now? You know what I'm saying? Why would he stop now? But hold on. We could march peacefully toward the camp to reassure the authorities. Oh, man. Public opinion right now, we are hated. We are hated right now. All right. We revolted last time. I'm debating if I want to continue that revolution, though. I think Marcus would continue. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. Yeah, North is down! For our freedom, and we will well, succeed Josh, I never liked him anyways. Are you ready to follow me? Yeah, that's right. We about to throw down. Yeah, Marcus is the king of this motherfucker right now. Damn. I mean, damn. Viva la revolution. Am I right? Shout out to Immortal Technique out here on the mic. Wow. Marcus is about to go in and go hard right now. Let's keep this rolling, shall we? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. All right, so In shit's addition getting real. To these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Wow. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Madam President! Let's see here. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. She shut please. that shit down. Please. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. Well, that's a good the idea. The situation is under control. All right, so let's check this one here. Is there any other ones maybe on the far right? Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please. I want to talk about cyber life for sure. What's going to happen to cyber life? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with cyber life to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the Android question. Mm. Thank you. That will be all. All right, well, I'm glad I asked that question. Because you definitely want to know what's going on with the place who's making the androids that can become deviants, you know what I'm saying? All right, reach the bus terminal. So we're pretty much coming the to the end of Kara's story. 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. All right, we've got 20 minutes. Oh, is, am I really going to have to do a 20-minute part to get through this? Are you all right? I, I, I'm, I'm really cold. I don't think I'm supposed to turn her off. What's nuts, though, is that we know that we can turn off. See, I don't think she knows that she's an android. But is she like an older model or something that the weather actually can get to or something? Well, we could also steal their jackets too. 
I mean, there is that. They're not really... They don't need them anymore. No, we're not. We're just gonna cover her eyes. Well, then, to keep it moving, then. Move along. We should probably grab the gun, though. Just in case we need it for protection. They didn't see us. Get down. Get in cover. No, please don't hurt me. Don't at me. Oh, he's going down. He's getting shot. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Let's hope so. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Let's get up there like rats. Or you look the boy, you're fine. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up this fucking city. Believe me, we are far from finished. Oh, we're good. We made it through. They didn't see us. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. We're gonna do just that. We're gonna also wait, though. Get moving. Hurry up. Get in. What about those ones to the right? They could probably definitely see us over there if they really wanted to. Nobody's looking. Let's go now. Seems like a good enough time here. Yeah, those ones up there are the ones that are making me a little bit concerned, though. Look over there. It's the Jerry's. Well, it's not our Jerry's. We gotta go. Soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. Oh yes, the f we can. Look, it's them or us. All right, Alice. We're keeping going. I'm sorry, Alice. There's nothing we can do. I've not seen Alice really throw down with anybody once this entire game. All right, I'm sure she can. But I'm sure she's not a combat android. You know what I'm saying? Then again, they all probably can kick your ass because they're androids. But still. We have to keep moving. Hey, buddy. You live, Alice. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Now oh, he's going down. Yep. What the hell were we supposed to do, hmm? Fucking androids. How the hell? Do they not see me? I'm literally right out in the fucking open, man. Alright, so can I go the other way now? I guess I have to go this way to the right. I was expecting to just go all the way over. They're gone. I'm assuming this is the right way. I know we came this way up and then she fell. Real nice. Get down! They're literally right there! Oh my god, these guys are blind. I mean, obviously I don't want them to find her, but they are just genuinely blind. Right, well, we're going this way now. I could have swore that we were supposed to go the other way. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go yet. This guy better not walk over here. Come on, turn the other way, you bothead! There we go. Best option right there. Go when we can, right? Oh, of course. I mean, hey, we could always just steal the bus, right? A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Alright, 11 minutes. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're taking the safe route. 
I can't risk Alice, man. I can't risk Alice. You know, Kara, Kara's the motherly type. I feel like she would take the safer route. I feel like she'd always take the safer route. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Well, public opinion doesn't like us. But that's never gonna change. My man Marcus is holding a flag ready to go to war with these motherfuckers. Look, it's a digital flag too. This man out here looks like he's about to run for president. Damn, talk about the walk, the, the G-walk. This man's just approaching slow AF like, nah, I got this, I'm good. Oh, there we go, speeding up a bit, speeding up a bit. Light jog. Sprint, bitch, let's motherfucking do this! Yes, that's right. We're gonna go in there and kick some more ass. Damn, this this shit's already hype. I'm already I'm already wondering where this is gonna go. Man, Marcus hit that freaking pose on him. He looked back like he ready to do this. Let's go and throw down. Sheet, son. Hart Plaza downtown. Find a vantage point. Connor's gonna be a sniper. Oh, shit. Oh, man. All right. Okay. My man is ready. Look at this ish right here. I was expecting more of a one-on-one -on -one type approach, but I guess they feel that it'd be better for Connor to not take him on hand-to-hand. -hand, even though they really never even got to throw hands. I mean, Connor punched him once, then in the next encounter, Marcus pushes him over, and then just grabs a gun. Did they really need me to insert that? Really, Detroit? Hmm? You really needed me to do that? Oh, but you won't make me put the, 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 little, the little holder on so it can prop up. Oh, at this point, it's just free. He doesn't even have to try. Oh, it's Hank. Oh, we haven't seen him in a little while since Elijah's really. Do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. You're going to kill a man who wants to be free. That is my business. Um, it's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Evian's blood may be a different color than mine, but they're alive. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Oh, shit. Step away from the ledge. What? After all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. <laughs> But then I realize you never change. Oh, shit. You don't feel emotions, Connor. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son. 
Maybe that wasn't a good idea. He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him and this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Well, looks like we gotta go. Throw it. We don't want a hurt attack. We're not gonna shoot him. We're just gonna unload the gun. Up oh, and hacks down. Hank does not want to give up. Damn. Well, I'm sorry to do this to you, Hank, but we're going to have to make you go night-night, buddy. Damn, Hank is throwing down right now. Sheesh. Oh, shit. I don't want the gun. What's the point of us having the gun? Getting the gun involved in this can make things really bad. I don't want to hurt Hank. I like Hank. Connor's just trying to, you know, knock his ass out. And there we go. That should do it right there. Uh, why are you doing this, Connor? I don't like this. Killing you is not part of my mission. But you won't stop me from accomplishing it. No! Oh! No! Hank, no! I should have let Hank live because I could just become another corner! Skew Detroit. Skew Detroit. <sighs> this damn game. I swear to Really, man? I like Hank. I was trying to keep Hank safe. Should have just let Connor fucking die, man. How was I supposed to know that doing that was gonna kill him? I just chose to save him. I figured We've arrived, Alice. We made it. I figured Connor was gonna freaking be like, hey, no, you're not stopping me still. Now I gotta really knock your ass out. You, you don't Ugh, really, son of a bitch. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? <sighs> I'm still pissed about what they just did to me with Hank. Lord Freeze is still pissed. I'm I'm just I'm just pissed. I'm pissed. Skew Detroit, suck a dick. Checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Security check. Please don't move. Alright, they're not showing anything else. Let's get away from this dude who's scanning people. We gotta find tickets. So what? Do we like rob somebody for their tickets? We might have to pickpocket somebody. Thank you. Oh, well, there's something over here. Oh, read it, I guess. Let's see here. Civil war in Detroit. Violent, uh, violent clashes between soldiers and deviants. UN warns, UN warns of World War Three. President approval at 30... I'm over I'm stumbling over my words. Episode's gonna be a little longer. I kind of want to just make this the finale, but... I can't tell. You know, I want to wrap it up also, but we got to see what's going on with, you know, what, where we leave it off at, all right? My little girl. My little... <gasps> Whoa! You stole my little girl! This guy! God. Security! Oh. Over here! 
Uh, break free. Let go of me, Todd. Uh, convince him, maybe? Let go of me or you will regret it. Turning us in won't solve anything for you, you know that. You have your problems. They're nothing to do with us. Excuse me, is there a problem, sir? They're androids. Oh, he Get sold going. us out! On your knees! That son of a bitch! You can't. You gotta be kidding me. Somebody's gonna save them, right? I love you, Mom. I love you too. You, you can't! You can't! And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Well, this is pretty much the end of the game, so I'm just gonna let it ride. We're at like the end of the game now. I, I figured this, this, maybe this should just be the finale. Freedom or death? Freedom or death? It's gonna be one or the other for Marcus. Attack! This is just one city though, like even if they win this war, they still have to go and fight the government, like... This is just one city, there's multiple government bases across the nation. They regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've gotta be fast and overwhelm them, that's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus, our people need you. All right, this is kind of cool. I like this. This is fun. We can at least see Marcus have a kick-ass story. Hold on a second here. Where do we go? Where do we go? What do we do? What do we do? L1 to aim and... Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Let's not do that. Let's not do... Order my troops. How the hell do I order them? Move. High risk. Let's not do that. Covering fire. Fire! All right, moves low risk now. We can go. Let's do this. What are you doing, Marcus? Why would you stop there? Just keep going, man. We have we ha we have the ability to move. Covering fire. Cover me. Keep yourself safe, all right. Save this guy. Marcus is a hero and a leader, after all. You know, we've always ro we've always ran that way with him. Don't save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. You're trying to deter him now. In the middle of the battle. That's your game plan. Well. Not the best final words, I would say. But definitely made Marcus think a little bit. If that was your... Yeah, I guess it's... I, I don't know which way to take Marcus. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally conflicted here, alright? We need to be able to get to there. It's really high risk. Give me some covering Cover fire. Me. Right, we're doing that now. And... Are you? Hello there. Okay, okay, hi. See you later, bitches. Kill face. Damn! Holy sh- Those are balls. Damn. Um. I don't want to die, Marcus. I don't want to die. Hide here. Don't move till it's over, okay? Right, and low risk. Move left. We're moving, we're doing it. High risk, cover fire. Do I got cover fire? Cover me! Oh shit, everybody's dying for Marcus to advance. How the hell do we have anybody even left to cover us? 
get that guy right there. Boom, boom. All right, nice. Those people can move up now. That's no longer low risk. We go, we go at 53% right now. We're good, we're good, we're good. We lost a lot of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp. All right, so he just went down. High risk to re... Oh my God, is there any way to... Is there any way to save Simon? I feel like he'd save Simon. Oh, and Simon still got shot. All right, so what am I doing here? Uh, all right, they took him out. They took him out. Our people are moving up. So what can I do? Coordinate my attack. All right, well, fucking covering fire. Group will cover, cover where? Oh, all right. On my signal. Now. Am I saving him or what? These motherfuckers over here are behind me. All right, you know what? Charge In these position. motherfuckers. Charge them. Stand by. Follow me. Marcus got this. I got faith in my man Marcus right now. I'm going to let him do his we thing. Can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. Can anybody flag it? Stand by. All right, those ones over there and have them charge. In position. Is there a third set? Or are we just going? These ones will give covering Stand fire. By. That's what I want to do. Launch the assault. For Jericho. They move up and we push. Yeah, baby. See, that's what I figured. I figured we cover fire, send the, send the closest ones in. Yo, little motherfucking little hovercraft over here. Lord Freezer don't play that shit. Man over here for freedom! It's the Braveheart the Android. Oh, uh, whoa! Okay, owie! That could have ended badly. Should have ended badly. Marcus is still good though. He's got this. He's in a weird spot it there. Took me a while to find you, Marcus. Oh, here it goes. Round two for these guys, huh? Now, uh, hopefully they let us just watch this one play out. Control Marcus, control Connor. Well, I feel like I gotta control Marcus. I've already stuck around with Con with Marcus this whole entire time more than Connor, so... I just feel like I gotta let that ride. Because they're throwing hands. <laughs> He's a, I thought he was about to throw his ass. Oh shit! Oh, he hit him low there. Damn. That's gotta be it for him, almost. Oh, that's an arm broken. That's another arm. And that's to the head. And that is right through I, what I believe to be the halt. It's not over, Marcus. See, that's why I didn't... It will never be over. That's why I didn't go with Connor because... Connor's gonna just keep coming back. <laughs> Did they really just slow-mo this? Damn. Oh, shit. Well, yes, those are definitely absolutely balls. Those were balls indeed. Man just walking up here all epic and shit. All right, so they are retreating. We won that the battle. Are abandoning the camp. We got the camp. 
We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. Exactly. And now we have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hard Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels following some particularly violent fighting. The Deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, yes. Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Honestly, I feel like if the androids win, they wouldn't kill all the humans off. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free. What I find interesting is how they saved all these ones from the camps and they have no faces. I mean, I'm guessing they could turn them on in any moment, kind of like what they did, but... I wonder, is that just Sony trying not to have to render too much shit on screen? I'm just saying! PS4 Pro out here, they got me with looking at 4 million all-white androids. I feel like it could have handled at least more than what they had. So that's it? Is that Detroit Become Human? Is that the end? Did I beat it? I beat it! Well, shit! I'm just saying, like, I don't... You gotta understand, like... I feel so unfulfilled. I feel unfulfilled in this game. So, we chose... We went with Marcus's route. We went Marcus's route, clearly. Now, obviously, you can go all different types of routes in this game. So, a different playthrough, we could have prevailed in corners side of things, I, I presume. Or in an episode, you know, we could have had Kara live through. Or maybe Kara just never... I, I don't know if Kara can live. I don't know if she can, honestly. I bet you she can. She probably can, one way, shape, form, or of, of another. So, yeah, it just... I don't think I got a very good ending. I think I got a... I think I got... I think I got an alright ending. But, um... I, de I definitely will play through it again on my Twitch. That Divine Malzar guy. Very handsome man, by the way. Very, very attractive, sexy man. Oh, my God. Ooh, I would tap that. Uh, I I'm sure he'll definitely come to some different endings over on Twitch. 
But I'm trying to think the things I could have done differently to get different endings. And definitely, I think I, I could have definitely went a haunt a different route with Hank and Connor if I would have made the decision not to kill that android at Elijah's house. I think that was a big turning factor for what happened with Connor and Hank. And I could have actually just let Hank kill Connor there and Connor would have came back. We could have saved Hank. See, I didn't know that though. Now that I know that, next time I don't think I'm going to react. I'm going to let Hank push him off. But at the same time, we might not even have gotten to that point if we had made better decisions. But you know what? At the end of the day, sometimes Frieza has to make the tough decisions. And that's exactly what I did. I guess we'll run through the credits here and see if there's anything in the after scene. You never know. Although, I don't really foresee this having an after credit scene. If they have that many endings, you know, that means they can only have so many. There's that douche in the beginning of the game that was messing with Jesse. Yeah, f that guy. Yeah, I, I don't foresee them having many extra add-on things at the end because of that. That or they'd have to have one really vague one that, like, applies to all the endings. You know what I mean? Almost an hour and a half into the recording, though, so not really bad for a finale lag. We, uh, you know, you guys already know Josh is our editor. He's currently handling editing uh, the God of War series, which I'm going to finish now that I've finished this. The next Let's Play that I do, there might be some VR chat stuff in between, or some Divine Malzar Let's Plays in between, too. But the next Freezer Let's Play that we do is going to definitely be the continuation of God of War. Josh has taken over that one. And Josh made it sound like I was going to have, like, two more episodes. And I'm like, you know what? I think I could do it in one. I think he did say it could be around one and a half. All right, so I guess that's it right there. And nope, that's just the it right there. That's just the it right there. That's just the end of it right there. Yeah, that's the it, guys. <laughs> All righty then. So that's going to be that for Detroit. Well, fun game. I still enjoyed it. Again, looking forward to different playthroughs, of, you know, in it, etc., etc. But if you're new, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel because I do new videos all the time, every single week. And if you're not new, I think you already know you should be smashing that like button. Click my sexy golden face at the top left of the screen to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that you never miss any content from myself, Master Roshi, or Divine Mouse. At the top right of the screen is our most recent Let's Play. At the bottom right is our most recent reaction video. And at the bottom left is the most recent animated parody. And as always, I'll see you in my next video! Ha 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 ha! Hey, bye!